Hi there learners. It's nice to see you again. Welcome to Valenzuela Live. But before we proceed, please prepare your learning module, pen and paper and don't forget to collaborate and engage during discussion. Let's learn and enjoy TLE. Order 1 Week 3 Lessons. Select Electric and Hydraulic Tools. Learning Competency. Prepare Electric and Hydraulic Tools. Learning Outcomes 1. Select Electric and Hydraulic Tools. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to 1. Identify the different electric power tools 2. Draw and label the parts of different electric power tools and 3. Value the importance of using electric power tools in EIM Like any other repair or upgrade work across the house, electrical job requires tools for most residential electrical tasks, they utilize mostly basic tools that are already available in their house, such as a pliers, measuring instrument, and screwdrivers. There are also some specialty electrical tools that come in helpful from time to time, and these are readily available at most malls, hardware centers, electrical supply stores, and online shops. Let's us identify electrical power tools. One electrical power tools are devices that are actuated by a power source apart from manual work. Portable electric drill is a hand-supported, power-driven machine tool that rotates twist drills, reamers, counterbores, and similar cutting tools. 3. Power grinder is a handheld rotating machine used for grinding and cutting processes depending on the type of disc fitted to the machine. 4. Hammer drill is a power tool used chiefly for drilling in hard materials. Core drilling machine is a drill specifically designed to remove a cylinder of material, much like a hole saw. Six power drill is an electrical motor that rotates a replaceable drill bit to make a hole in wood, plastic, or metal. Seven, drill bits are cutting tools used to remove material to create holes, almost always of circular cross-section. Advantages of using proper electrical tools Efficiency of the work is met. High quality of work is achieved. Accomplishment of a task is faster. Accuracy is obtained. It is less stressful on the part of the user. However, 
these advantages depend upon the three factors availability and sufficiency of materials. Experience and skills of the workers in using the tools and quality of the tools and equipment. different kinds of construction tools according to kind of trade. Carpentry tools such as hammer, steel tape rule, chisel and saw. Masonry tools such as trowel, spirit level, plumb rule and bob. Smith tools such as tin snips, soldering iron, scribing iron. Painters tools such as paint tray and rollers, brushes, drop cloth. Plumbing tools such as pipe wrench, pipe cutter, plungers. Electrical tools pliers, wire strippers, screwdrivers. These are the different construction tools according to their trade. It may be differ from each other, but all of these are important. Now, let move to the general safety rules for using power equipment. Please remember these general safety rules because you might use it for future references. Always follow manufacturer's operating instructions. Never place hands in a pinch point. Use eye protection. Wear gloves when working with hot equipment or materials. Always secure loose clothing such as shirt sleeves and shirt tails. Tail back long hair and do not wear dangling jewelry. Never exceed rated capacity of the equipment. remove protective guards from the equipment. Be prepared for an unexpected event. Power tool rules. your tool only for the specific task it was designed for. Read the owner's manual before using your tool. 
Never use any tool, power or manual, unless you are trained to do so. Inspect before each use and replace or repair if parts are worn out or damaged. Inspect screws, nuts, bolts and movable parts to make sure they are tightened. Before plugging or unplugging tools, make sure that the power switch is turned off. Never disconnect power by pulling out the cord. Remove the plug from the outlet. Never clean or repair a tool in use unless power is disconnected. When working on ladders or scaffolding, rest power tools on a flat surface or in a bin secured to the ladder itself. A falling tool can seriously injure a co-worker or a bystander. Use a ground fault circuit interrupter when working with power tools. Avoid wearing of rings, jewelry, or loose clothing when operating power tools. Wear personal protective equipment PPE, such as face shields, safety goggles, disposable masks, and another required PPE. Take note. In servicing electrical power tools, always replace parts according to the manufacturer's specification. Have you learned something today? Type the letter of your answer in the comment section.
we're done for today. I hope you've learned. If there's any questions, you may ask your subject teacher in TLE. Let me end with this. TLE, thank you for streaming with Az. Like and love our video lesson and enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe and God bless.